Diablo 4 Forward Unto Dawn is a, it's a web series. Um, to put it simply, it's five episodes, each about 15 minutes in length. We're going to start distributing in October, just before the game comes out, uh, and it'll be the five weeks leading up to and around launch. Uh, and effectively, it's a primer for the Halo universe. It's a, it's a great piece of standalone drama. You don't have to be a fan of Halo to understand the story that we're telling in this. And in fact, one of the reasons for doing it is to give people an on-ramp into the Halo universe so they can take this somewhat daunting fiction that they've maybe heard about or been curious about and jump right in and learn a little bit about the origins of the universe, the origins of some of our heroes, including the Master Chief, and uh, the origin of the story and universe that Halo is. Forward Unto Dawn as a title is, is a little bit misleading, so there will be a snapshot of uh, life on the, or, or the, some pastiche of life on the Forward Unto Dawn, but really it was just the perfect phrase to capture the spirit of what these kids are going through and, and where they are and the hope that, that comes from that because it's a, it's a pretty dark story and a lot of very, very bad things happen to very good people, but ultimately it's a tale of, of redemption and hope and, uh, and that's what the best stories are. Uh, so Halo 4 Forward Unto Dawn is uh, essentially an origin story uh, for a lot of the, the human covenant conflict. It's an origin of the human covenant conflict. It's an origin in some ways of the chief himself and uh, Lasky is another origin story that we're able to tell in this format and, uh, and we don't want to spoil the story but uh, it, he's going to become important later on in the universe. So the story of Forward Unto Dawn uh, does include the Master Chief and he is uh, pivotal character in that story as a matter of fact but he doesn't get the majority of the screen time that uh, goes to a character named Thomas Lasky who's a young cadet and it is a coming of age story and uh, the chief is going to be a big part of that. The project revolves around Thomas Lasky and his time at Corbulo Academy um, which is a fictional academy and it's set in the future and uh, the story basically is set um, following him and his journey through the academy. And it's mainly focusing on his struggles with trying to work out where he fits in and what he believes in and whether it's right or wrong. You will see him actually grow up. Suffice it to say that he's a very important character uh, in both Halo Force campaign and in Spartan Ops. And uh, will play a fairly central role in your understanding of the, the UNSC and the mechanics of the, the present day military as it is in that universe. I think really serious Halo fans are going to, they'll find it first and foremost a really focused, tight story, but I think it's going to take them back in some ways to the kind of uh, sense of uh, revelation and, and uh, wonder that they, they had the first time they played Halo, where you were learning all this stuff as you went along, and we very deliberately and very literally uh, put the audience in the, in the shoes of the characters in this, in this piece, and I think that both the, the performers and the audience are both going to be learning about the state of the universe in real time as the, as the story plays out. And it's actually been one of the most successful aspects of, of creating the story. And of course, we, we owe that to the screenwriters, uh, Todd and Aaron Helping, who, who worked very closely with us to capture exactly that mood and that spirit and that essence that we were shooting for. You know, half the battle in creating a, a convincing Master Chief is obviously the armor, but the other half is the actor and the, the sort of physical embodiment. Uh, we have a great combination of both. We have uh, the actor Daniel Cudmore, who played Colossus in X-Men. Huge, tall, lean, muscular, fits the suit perfectly, and is also very good physically. When you see him moving, it doesn't look cumbersome. It looks like it's a part of his skin, and that's a vital part of how the Chief is supposed to move. From the video games, he is that sort of staple character but in but in this series um, it, it's really about me helping out some young cadets and sort of inspiring a, a young cadet who becomes something greater. Cadet Lasky, uh, he looks up to him I think he is quite inspired by his presence he's very overwhelming and he's quite intimidating as well at first because nobody's encountered anything like him before. To actually finally see him realized as he is in the show uh, gave me you know just a huge fan explosion. I have to give a lot of respect to the guys at Legacy uh, who made the costume and their level of attention to detail. The, the things that we're being able to achieve with, with, with one of these practical suits is pretty cool and a lot of the stuff that we're shooting is, is coming across really, really well. I mean, it looks like what it should, like this battle-hardened outfit that really can take a huge lick. I think that the hardcore Halo fans and even some of the sort of loose, loosely invested Halo fans have always wanted to see live action Halo on, on the screen and I think this is going to do more than satisfy and, and scratch that itch. I think it's going to open up the Halo universe in a way that 
we've never been able to with game cinematics and you can't do justice to with live action commercials. It's a real story with real heart and I think people are really going to love it.